Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim and today we're going to start tearing off the old termite damaged boards off the barn in preparation to put the new boards on. Hopefully you've already seen our barn termite treatment video where we uh, showed you all the boards are eaten up and uh, the treatment we did is going to prevent that from the future. But today uh, we're going to start ripping off those bottom boards. You know, we've already got the bottom board all the way around off. We did that to stop the termite infestation that we had at the time. Well, that was been some time ago, so now we're going to start ripping off the bottom boards and, and some of the verticals and start getting new boards put on. So you can see we pulled off the bottom board here, and then we did that some time ago because the termites were active in this. So um, this helped stop the, the, the infestation, and, uh, and then we did a termite treatment all the way around. But you can still see so much damage. So we're going to cut these vertical boards up and replace some of these really bad bottom boards. You can see right here, this one is just falling apart. We come over here to this side of the barn, and you can see the termites got in the vertical here, and they went all the way up, and they destroyed this vertical board. So we're going to take this vertical board really high. What's really amazing is they got into this vertical board and ran all the way up, but the bottom boards are really solid and have no damage whatsoever. We're doing a long side now. Um, I do have to go up higher on the verticals, but I don't have to go up as high on the horizontals. So that's going to save a lot of linear feet. I don't know if y'all could tell that when I was tearing the center section apart, but look at this. The, this is the vertical, and they just ate all the way up. Just crazy. side of the barn here is kind of weird you know how they, they moved up the termites moved up the verticals and they went out some of the horizontals like three or four up so I, I've taken off the bottom one already and I'm going to take off random horizontal ones to get those totally rotten boards out of there so the 
verticals. The verticals were actually in really solid condition here, but you can see they ate horizontally in different spots. It's just crazy. I'd go up, go over, go up, go over. Just really wild. You can see the damage there. Hit the other end of it. Actually, yeah, hit the other end of it. Can you get to it? Yeah. All right. Come on. Woohoo! Hey. Hey, hey, what's up, buddy? All right. Yeah, look at this, Morgan. Look at that. That, that. that thing had no structural integrity whatsoever. Let's get that out of here. This one. Yep. Broken half. Broken half will hit the ground. That's what termites do. Alright. Yep, this one. Yeah, this, this wall got hit pretty hard, didn't it? Look at that. I broke the wood. Yeah. Some termites. Bad, but the end was destroyed so you can tell by the weight this thing's really heavy so it still has wood in it but those right there were so light that one looks good it's weird okay. all right take the bottom off you get something like a moisture meter can't you Sir, because yeah, the center of this one's still good. This one's still heavy, but the ends were pretty stored. I can use this for a, um, a raised box bed gardening. All right, buddy, let's do this one here. Look at this. Look at that. All right, take this one here off.
you know, like you see on this north side here, we had to take, gosh, half the whole wall away because it was just eaten, eaten away by termites. So we'll replace these. We're replacing the bottom boards with uh, pressure treated. And as we go to the top, they don't need to be pressure treated, but we do have to get some paint on them. This is the east section. And you can see how he's tearing that up. This is the coop side, chicken coop side. And you can see the chickens have been eating the termites out of the wall over there. So we're gonna have to do a bunch of boards on this side as well. Um, but we're not gonna do this side until we're ready to redo the chicken coop. We're gonna build, we're gonna build a coop here on this end and then make this run. We're gonna redo this run with hardware cloth and that red little barn coop, we're gonna move over to the pond for ducks. So uh, we'll tear these boards off at another time. And now we gotta start fastening our, what's left of our north end boards. Whenever we get our termite damage done, we've got some weather damage we gotta do. You can see the base of our windows at the top, they, uh, they've got you know water damage. So we're gonna have to replace those. And there's a few of the fascia boards we're gonna have to replace as well. But um, we'll get it all. This is just uh, fun stuff to do on the ridge. Hope everybody enjoyed watching us rip out all those old termite infested boards. Uh, I mean, some of those boards were just like two pounds. The other ones were like 20 pounds those two by eights, you know, those should have been really heavy, but you know, that's what termites do. So if you've got any termite damage in your house, you, house, you want to make sure you take care of it quickly because you can see it will escalate. They will run up, run up, run up, and they'll start running horizontal and you're going to have some structural damage. So we're going to leave this the way it is for now, get some more screws. And then on another pretty day, we're going to get out here and start putting the good boards on. So we'll see you then. All right. So everyone until next time, have a blessed day and go Ridgeline.